alpha Jacobi methods summary to apply summary summary how we apply the Jacobi method for a given suppose A is a given matrix A is given matrix and that matrix is a A 1 1 A 1 2 up to A 1 n A 2 1 A 2 2 up to A 2 n similarly A n 1 A n 2 up to A n n this one is a given real symmetric matrix given real symmetric matrix symmetric matrix given real symmetric matrix then we choose the largest then this one is a first step first step first step choose numerically numerically largest largest of diagonal of diagonal element element choose numerically largest of diagonal element and let this one is equal a i k a i k then write second step write write a 1 a 2 cross 2 matrix in a such a way a i i a i k a k i a k k then find the value of a theta theta equal tan inverse 1 by 2 tan inverse 2 a i k upon a i i minus a k k then find a similar transformation matrix step third step third write a similar transformation matrix this one is a step 2 step 2 step 3 write a similar transformation matrix similar similar not a similar means transformation matrix transformation matrix transformation matrix right transformation matrix transformation matrix as as s1 equal s1 equal 1 0 0 0 and so on suppose this one is a aik this one is a aik so here we write a here we write a minus sin theta a i i so here we write a what a i i here we write a cos theta and here we write a sin theta in place of a a k i and in place of a a k k we write a cos theta all other of diagonal element with a 0 and all other diagonal element with a 1 this one is a s 1 then we find a b 1 equal s 1 inverse a s 1 if this one is a diagonal a diagonal matrix then we stop this process here in a in a next step step 4 step 4 check v is diagonal matrix or not check v is di diagonal diagonal matrix matrix if s if s stop stop if no if no repeat repeat step repeat 
step 2 and 3. Repeat step 2 and 3. Repeat step second and third until we get what? Until we get until we get we get diagonal matrix diagonal matrix matrix. If we get the diagonal matrix then in a step 5 a step 5 the element of the element of element of principal diagonal element of a principal diagonal principal principal diagonal diagonal keep the keep the eigen value eigen value and and s equal s1 s2 up to sr give the give the matrix of matrix of matrix of eigen vector so what is the summary of uh, this lecture means how we find the solution of a uh, how we find a uh, eigenvalues and eigenvector of a given real symmetric matrix with the help of a Jacobi method. So, first of all for a given matrix we choose the largest half diagonal numerically largest half diagonal elements then we write a transformation matrix S1 by choosing the theta in a such a way theta equal 1 by 2 tan inverse 2 a i k upon a i i minus a i k where a i k is the numerically largest elements. Once we find the value of a theta, then we write a rotation matrix or transformation matrix S1. In place of a a i k, we write a cos theta. In place of a k i, not in place of a a i k, we write a minus sin theta. In place of a a i i, we write a cos theta. In place of a a k i, we write a sin theta and in place of a k k we write a cos theta in all all other position of a transformation matrix half diagonal element with a 0 and diagonal element with a 1 and after calculating the value of a theta putting the value of a theta we find the transformation matrix s1 then we find a similar matrix v1 by using the relation b1 equal s1 inverse a s1 if this one is a diagonal matrix or not examine the matrix b1 if this one is a diagonal matrix then we stop the transformation if this one is a not a diagonal matrix then again in a b1 we choose the numerically largest element again find the value of a theta again find the value of a transformation another transformation matrix s2 again perform the Similarity transformation V2 equal S2 inverse V1 S2 and examine here if the matrix is a diagonal matrix then the if matrix is a diagonal elements diagonal matrix then we stop the procedure if a matrix is a not a diagonal matrix then we repeat this procedure until we get the diagonal matrix. Once we get the diagonal matrix then diagonal element is a what eigenvalues and what is the eigenvector? We multiply the transformation matrix, all the transformation matrix. In this case, we use the two transformation matrix S1 and S2. So, we multiply S1 and S2, we find the S, then what will happen? Then the first column of matrix S represent the eigenvector corresponding to the first eigenvalue, second column represent the eigenvector corresponding to the second eigenvalue, third column represent the eigenvector corresponding to the third eigenvalue. So, this one is all about uh, this lecture. I hope you enjoy this series of a uh, uh, video lecture of a numerical methods. So, thank you. Thank you joining the lecture.